Well, welcome back everyone. A homeowner down the shore is now dealing with tragedy after her home went up in flames just ahead of the holiday weekend. Our Dan Coop tells us why the homeowner believes the fire department is partially to blame. I just don't want to look at it. Janice Pantano cannot believe her eyes. 55 years in that part of the house and we built the extension on about 30 years ago. She's been coming to CIL City and this house since she was seven. Now her home is gone after a fire ignited in her car, burning it beyond recognition just days after she says she got it back from the shop. Went back in to get my cell phone to take a picture so I could show the car dealer. At that point, I saw flames coming up from the hood by the windshield. She arrived around 1030 Thursday night after driving to CIO from Center City. Only moments later, the fire engulfed the car and enveloped her home. After calling the CIO Fire Department, Pantano and her neighbor Kevin Brennan claim it took a substantial amount of time for a truck to arrive from a mile and a half away. 20 minutes later, a fire truck shows up. At that point, that entire car is engulfed in flames and it went to the house. That's the story. We just watched it burn. But CIO Police Chief Tom McQuillan believes the volunteer firefighters did their job. According to their records, it took 12 minutes to reach the home, 16 before hitting it with water. Um, you know, I, I would say the totality of this situation, I think 12 minutes is, is an appropriate response time. Now on the busiest weekend of the year, Pantano must spend her Memorial Day picking up the pieces of a home she's been in for five decades. I'm angry. I can't even know how to process all this. And it's just, it's just more than I can even comprehend. I feel like I'm in a time zone. Like, when am I going to wake up? Neighbors say the time has come to pay firefighters in this community. Neighbors also say there have been four house fires in the last seven months. In Sea Isle City, Dan Koob, CBS3 Eyewitness News.